Hello everybody, I'm Alex with Yukon HKN, and today I'm going to be talking about Norton equivalent circuits and how to turn a regular circuit into a Norton equivalent circuit. So we know from Norton's theorem that any circuit with resistors, voltage sources, current sources, any combination of those can be represented as a Norton equivalent circuit, which is one current source and one resistor. So to get these values for the current source and the resistor, we're going to perform two tests. The first test is an open circuit test, so we're going to find the voltage across A to B, call that the open circuit voltage. And then we're going to short A to B, and we're going to find the current flowing through there, and that's going to be the short circuit current. So our Norton current is going to be equal to that I short circuit, and our Norton resistance is going to be equal to the open, excuse me, open circuit voltage divided by the short circuit current. All right, so let's begin with our open circuit test. So we're going to use trusty old node voltage method to do this. So we see we have a node here. We're going to call this our reference node, for convenience sake. We have another node up here. We'll call this voltage V1. And our third node is right here. And we'll call this voltage, voltage 2. All right, so we know from current, Kirchhoff's current laws um, that the sum of the currents leaving the node is going to be equal to 0. So we'll use that for our node voltage method. So for the first node, we're going to have V1 plus 6 volts minus V2 over 4 because of the 3 ohms plus the 1 ohm. Excuse me, this should be 1 ohm. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Minus 4 amps because we have 4 amps going into that node plus V1 over 1 ohm for this branch plus V1 minus 12 volts divided by, and I didn't have a value for this either. That one was four ohms. Once again, sorry about that. Divided by our four ohms. And then our final current is V1 minus V2. Minus V2 all over two ohms. And we know that equals zero. So, doing some simple algebraic simplifications, we're going to get 8V1 minus 3V2 equals to 22. All right. So now we go to our second node, and we're going to have V2 V2 minus 6 volts, because we're going from this side, minus V1 all over the 4 ohms in series, plus V2 minus V1 all over 2 ohms, and our final current was V2 minus 0 over 8 equals 0. All right. So once again, doing some algebraic simplifications, we're going to get minus 6 volts, minus 6 V1 plus 7v2 equals to 12. All right, so now we have two equations and two unknowns, v1 and v2. So we can use a system of equations to solve for v1 and v2. We get v1 equals to 5 volts and v2 equals to 6 volts. But we know that v2 is the voltage from this node to the reference node. It's also the same as our open circuit voltage, voltage from A to B. So we know VOC is also equal to the 6 volts. All right, now we're going to perform our short circuit test. So that means we're going to put a short wire from the node A to B, like so, and we're going to look for the current I short circuit here. All right, so what we know is when we connect a, a wire across a resistor like that, we can essentially take away the resistor because we know that all the current is going to want to flow through the short circuit wire and not through the resistor. It doesn't want to do that much work. So we can just erase that right there, which makes this giant reference node into one bigger node. So we can extend that up there like so. So we no longer have a V2. That's just part of our reference ground node. All right, so we're going to perform node voltage method again. Once again, we have the negative 4 amps, negative 4 amps, plus V1 plus 6 volts 
over our four ohms. But again, we're going right to our reference node, so we don't have V2 to worry about. Plus V1 over one ohm right here. Plus V1 divided by, or excuse me, V1 minus 12 volts all over four ohms. And then finally, we have our last current, V1 minus zero over the two ohms, and that equals zero. All right, now that we have that equation, we can do some algebra, simplify this up, and we will get eight V1 minus 22 equals zero. All right, we have one unknown, one equation. Perfect, we can solve for V1. V1 is gonna equal 2.75 volts, and that's our voltage on this node. All right, so if you remember, we're looking for our current across A to B, so our short circuit current, and we know that from Kirchhoff's current law that this current is equal to the current flowing through this node, or through this branch, plus the current in this branch, because here's the node, those two currents sum up to that current. All right, so to do that, we're going to find we have ISC is equal to V1, V1 plus six over our four ohms for this cur the current in this branch, and then summing with V1 over two is equal to our short circuit current. All right, we have V1 now, so we can use V1 in that to solve for our short circuit current, and we're going to get 3.56 amps. All right, now we have our, sh our short circuit current and our open circuit voltage. We can find our resistance, our Norton resistance. So we know our Norton current is equal to our short circuit current, so we know that is equal to IN. Awesome. And we know that RN is going to be equal to the open circuit voltage divided by the short circuit current, which equals our 6 volts from our, short, our open circuit voltage divided by our 3.56 amps. And that is going to give us 1.685 ohms. All right, so now we have our short our short circuit Norton current, which was 3.56 amps. And we have our Norton resistance, which is 1.685 1. Oh, 1. ohms. And right here we have our Norton equivalent circuit. Thanks for watching, I hope you had fun and have a wonderful day.